Hi, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make basses like the ones in the track Swag by DC Breaks. So it's the original track and this is the bass we're going to be making. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dnbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more, showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so before we start with the video, these are notes that we're gonna be playing. Copy them if you want to follow along with the video. So now let's get into Serum. Okay, so here I have an initialized patch, and the first thing we're going to do is to add some sub noise in a complex wavetable, such as Monster 4. And now what we're going to do now is we're going to map an LFO, in this case LFO number 1, into the level of the wavetable. We're going to set this on envelope. And for now let's just turn off the sub and the noise to focus on the shape of this LFO. So this LFO needs to be a little bit longer in terms of the time that it spends being sustained on top. So we're going to do a shape like this. And next we're going to turn off the anchor button just so we can modulate the rate of the LFO better. And so we're going to do a modulation like this. And so now let's modulate the rate of this LFO. What we're going to do is we're going to keep the original speed of the fourth note, but then on the second note, we're going to bring the speed at half so it spends more time because the second note is longer. And then the next thing we're going to do is to automate the pitch of this oscillator. So we're going to set the range at 12 and then we're going to automate the pitch bend here. So now the pitch bend automation should look something like this, going up, sustaining and then going down. That gives the sound a lot of expression. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to map an LFO into the tension point of this LFO. And now this macro can help with the length of the sound. So let's also automate this macro. And again, we're going to bring it up at the part of the note that we want to prolong like this. Just so it spends more time there. And now let's start shaping the character of the sound. So let's use a sub and once again the noise. And let's start mapping this LFO into the level of the noise. The wavetable position. And anything that adds movement into the sound. So I'm just going to fine tune this a little bit. And next we're going to add the asymmetrical warping mode here. We're going to use the plus one and boost it all the way up because that changes the format of the wavetable. We're going to add lots of unison and next we're going to filter this wavetable through a high pass filter with a notch in it. And next we're going to map this LFO into the cutoff. And if we boost the resonance, you can hear the form and shift that it does to the sound. So what we're doing is trying to match the original movement of the track. Let's boost the drive a little bit. And then let's also map this LFO into the frequency of the notch and let's bring this down. That actually sounds very, very good. We could come back into these knobs and experiment, uh, even with the wavetable, for example. In this case, Monster 4 has really cool harmonics that are a little bit closer to the original sound. Now let's go into the effects tab. And here in the effects tab, let's use a filter. We're going to use Phaser 48 minus. And we're going to change the cutoff. So it adds more to the format of the sound that we want. And then let's mix that in. Next, we're going to add an EQ. And with this EQ, we're going to control basically the envelope of the sound because we're going to be low passing this and modulating the cutoff frequency of that low pass. 
So it's like one more element of amplitude control. Again, we can fine tune all of this later. For now, let's just leave it like this. Let's add one more bell. And let's boost around the mids. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a distortion. But we're going to do this after all of the filtering. We're going to boost the drive. And once more, we're going to map the LFO into this drive. Which makes the sound very, very crunchy. Next, we're going to add a chorus. And we're going to leave it this way. Maybe bring the mix a little bit lower. And next, we're going to add a multiband compressor. Bring the lows a little bit lower. And then we're going to automate the gain so it goes up to the LFO. So once again, we're adding one more layer of movement into the amplitude of the sound. So this is it for modulations inside of Serum. Now let's jump into the post-processing. So for the post-processing, the first thing we have is one EQ with one more bell that again is being automated to simulate the movement of the filter. As you can see, the expression in this sound, it's being achieved thanks to the filters and the pitch bend going up and down, which is really, really cool. Next, we're going to add an EQ that boosts the highs. As you can hear, it really adds those missing frequencies in the highs. Now, I don't recommend you to use this type of EQ in a mixing context. This is more of a sound sign EQ where we're specifically boosting the harmonics that we need. Next, we have a Serum FX. And what this is doing, it's again adding one more layer of the phaser to change the form slightly and a little bit of a boost with the EQ. Next, we have one more multiband compressor, which will be this OTT preset, 38% amount, all the time, all the way up. The reason why we want the time all the way up is because if we bring it down, the tails can get a little bit too messy. The next thing that we have is an overdrive and an EQ to color the sound a little bit different. So if we listen to the reference, we can hear how there's different expressions in the bass. And this is all coming from different types of saturation, EQing, and other types of processing that change the harmonics of the sound. So what I did was adding this overdrive. And as you can see, depending on where you put the cutoff, it's going to change the expression of the sound. So for example, I'm going to leave it there at 300 and something. And then the last EQ is me fine tuning the sound as much as I can to make it match the original. But here we hit a fine tuning phase where the only thing left is to experiment. And here I want to recommend you to instead of going for this exact same sound, try to go for an original version of the sound. And this is very, very easy to achieve. The first thing you need to do is just to change some basic stuff like the wavetables, the filters, the different warping modes, and very specifically the melody, which will be the pitch bends. So, for example, let's do something like this. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe let's bring this down. Like this. Very cool. Maybe let's add one um, curve like this. And now we have a very, very cool growl. So that's going to be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.